Hi guys, I just got back from the Better With Pets Summit hosted by Purina in Brooklyn, New York. And I learned a new term, it's called Contra Freeloading. And it has a lot to do with your pet's emotional wellness. So here's my interview with senior scientist, Reagan McGowan on Contra Freeloading. We are here with Reagan McGowan, who is a senior scientist with Purina. Uh, tell us a little bit about the work you do with Purina. So I really am looking for innovative ways to assess positive emotions in our pets because we know a lot about the negative side. We know a lot about stress and anxiety, but we do know that pets can get to that more positive side too, so they can be happy and feel joy and have that connection with people. So we're looking for innovative ways to measure that. So tell us about contra contra free contra free So it's just a fancy way to say that a lot of animals, people included, actually enjoy and get benefit from working for food, even when the same food is freely available. So for it to be specifically contra free loading, you have to have dogs. So let's say for your pet dog or cat, you have a dog. So let's say he has his food in his bowl, but also you offer the same food in a form that he has to work for Which is what we do. Yep. Usually, pets will choose the work. Unless, of course, they're really hungry or starving, right. then they might sample some of the free food and then work for the food. But this allows them to have a lot of mental stimulation and really use their minds to figure out new ways to, to access that food. So, from an evolutionary perspective, this was a way for animals, because they do it in nature too, to really learn about their environment and learn new ways to get food. So that if their usual food resource went away, they would still have a way to get food. From our pet's perspective, they know that they reliably have that food there because you're yeah. giving it to them every day. So they're really getting a lot of mental stimulation and enjoyment just out of that problem solving. Yeah, it's so true. Chili has this little ball that we put his, uh, he eats curious just right. Okay. So we put his kibble in the ball mm -hmm. and he'll work it, he'll work it, he'll empty it, and then he'll go to his bowl. To, to finish eating. Awesome. So, so that's the cool. classic example yeah. where he's really choosing that more mental stimulation because he knows the food's there. He's probably not that hungry, but they're getting enjoyment instead of the problem solving aspect. And then one other quick little question. Uh, what are some, if people don't have that kind of toy already at home, what are some things they can do on their own to create that uh, contra? Contra-free contra loading. I'm having a really hard time. <laughs> it's a little bit tricky of a word. So there's all kinds of toys out there on the market, but if you want to make something yourself, you can use things that are non-toxic, like cardboard boxes, let's say, and maybe fold a few boxes within each other that the animal has to pull apart. Dogs like shredding things, usually, yeah. especially if they like shredding toys, so they can rip apart the cardboard and get the food from inside. I love that idea. You can also do something like take two-liter soda bottles, and put a dowel through them and put them on a stand so they sort of spin around and you put the kibble inside those and then the dog can hit it with its paw or its nose and knock the food out. So in that way they're playing and earning their food back at the same time. Excellent. And I, I've got a hint that we might see some of this in the experiential part. For sure. This okay. afternoon we're going to show you some early prototypes that we have for some food toys that we actually have on the market and as well some DIY things that you can do at home. You know, when we think of toy puzzles, we think of dogs, but they also have toy puzzles for cats, too. Take a look. So, so I know it's really important to introduce play into our yeah, pets yeah, yeah. So how, what are some of the ways we can, there, we can uh, do that? Well, we've got our pull-in play. And we've got this, and you, you take off the, te the head, and you can put some treats inside. And it's got a hole there, and then this is edible string. So this, yeah, so this goes, you feed that through the ears, and then put it on there and then he sort of bats around they can chew on the the ears or play with it and then food food pops out yeah so it kind of it looks like this it comes twisted and you can and so this is all edible <laughs> Well, that's a wrap on one of my favorite topics learned about at the Better With Pets Summit. If you liked this video or the blog, please share it on your social networks. And if you'd like to learn more about emotional wellness and your pets, please subscribe to my blog at kristenlevine.com. Thanks so much for joining.